Hi everybody! In this tutorial I'm going to talk about the sample files that are installed automatically when you download AutoCAD from the website. I think they are useful especially for beginners. You can get some ideas to your projects, as you can find there examples of mechanical projects, architectural, sheet sets, title blocks, even they are templates, so you have to find them in the templates folder. And there are also blocks that you can use in your projects. And that's exactly the topic of this video. Blocks from the sample files. Ok, let's go to the application icon. Then go to sample files and click on installed sample files. There are several folders here, and the blocks are located in EN-US. And then let's click in Design Center. You can see several files here, each of them covering different topics. Also, these blocks are not dynamic, even we also have a folder for dynamic blocks in the sample files, which we will cover later in this video. Now, as an example, let's open this integrated circuits. And an important thing, these files are protected, so we cannot rewrite them. However, we can save it with a different name and put it in a specific folder, easy for us to find it. Let's open this. And now, as you can see, all the blocks in this file are displayed in a very organized way. If you go to the block panel, to insert a block, you can see that they also have specific names. Very interesting. Now, I encourage you to pause this video right now and explore all the files you can find in the folder Design Center, just to have an idea of the blocks that you can find here. Ok, let's make a simple exercise. I'm going to open the Space Planner file. And then insert this block in the project that I am working on. Let's use this project architecture and place the chair in the floor plan. And one of the right things to do it is with the design center. However, it's very common for inexperienced users to copy and paste the block directly in the project. The thing is that this only works if the block is in the same units as the file that I'm copying to. For example, in this case, the blocks in the sample file are in inches, and as my project is in millimeters, AutoCAD is not doing the conversion, and the result is that the chair becomes very small. Due to that, let's open the Design Center, and you can find the button in the View tab here. With this tool, you can import content from other AutoCAD files such as blocks, dimension styles, layers, layouts and so on. On the left, it's the place where you can search for the file, and in this case you can see the home space plan is already opened. Another way to search for the file, if you are having troubles finding it there, click on Open Drawings and look, it's right there. Click on Blocks, select Chair Desk, double click on it, and this window shows up with some options to insert. As you can see, this block is in inches, so to insert it properly in this file that has the units in millimeters, it needs a conversion factor of 25.4. Then let's leave the insertion point as specify on screen, click on OK. And now I can place the chair where I want, for example here, in the dining room. At the same time, this block is added to my project, as I can see it in the block list. Back on the Sample Files folder, in the same EN-US folder, there is one called Dynamic Blocks. Again, there are several files here, but this time containing blocks with parameters. Let's open this one, Architectural Metric. 
there are less blocks, but all of them have parameters associated. If you are not familiar with dynamic blocks, I have a tutorial in my channel that you can find the link in the description of this video. Let's open the Design Center again, this time by typing the name in the command bar. Go to the blocks of the project Architectural Metric and I'm going to select this one, Door Metric. The thunder here indicates that the block is dynamic. Let's click on OK to insert it and place it just there and then put it in the right layer. In conclusion, we can take advantage of the blocks from the sample files. Even if we don't intend to use them in our projects, we can get some good thoughts. And these dynamic blocks are great for us to have an idea of the things that we can do with them. That's all in this video. Please feel free to visit my page on Patreon where you can support this channel if you're happy of course, and there you can also get access to the exercise files. I would really appreciate that, even of course I'm already grateful that you find these videos useful for you. So thank you very much for watching, see you next time.